Ryan Stevens from Game Trailers here. Today we put up our The Last of Us review where we evaluated the single player campaign. This is a, a little different from what we usually do. We didn't have enough time with the multiplayer and we had severe footage restrictions from what we could show where we couldn't put together a, a full length review that we're used to doing. There's not a number on this yet. We only, we only put down a number once. And that's going to come down once we have more time with the multiplayer and some of the restrictions lift. But for now, I just want to share with you guys that this is a fantastic game. It's Naughty Dog's best that they've done so far, and that's taking into account the body of work they've done with Uncharted. This is a game that's uh, on, on the short list for games that we'll be talking about from years from now. And there may not be a number right now, but I just want to give it uh, the highest accolades that I can. <laughs> After spending an in-game year with The Last of Us to make our way through a lengthy single-player campaign, we're ready to judge Naughty Dog's latest. However, we haven't had the opportunity to thoroughly evaluate the multiplayer component, and heightened restrictions on what we can show you have stymied Game Trailer's thorough and thoughtful process of sharing our evaluations with you via video. Expect a full review soon, but for now, let us share with you our reflections. But after this, I owe you nothing. The Last of Us is a demanding, immediate experience, focusing on the sliver of humanity exposed when people are up against the darkness inherent within. This is a zombie tale which strips away the mystery of infection, leaving a smoldering aftermath, with your sense of hope quashed by the severity of survival. As Joel, a 20-year veteran of the end of the world, you'll trek through miles of treacherous terrain from Boston to the beyond with a young Ellie in tow, your story mixed up with a rotating cast of friends, freaks, and castaways. The characters, whether they're with you or against you, are rounded and well-defined. Ellie and Joel's relationship fits the curve of the familial. The young hothead walking the treacherous line between smartass and precocious without falling into snark, and Joel never sinks completely into bottomless gruffness. You make every shot count. The easy and enjoyable Spielberg-esque style of dialogue previously employed by Naughty Dog has turned grittier, but it's not without the occasional light touch. The balance between tension and blessed reprieve delicately sways until an affecting plot sucker punch sets off a convincing, slow-burning Armageddon. Enduring the journey takes nerves and a steady approach. Resources are few, though you'll find fortune is on your side in the most dangerous situations. Your sense of sound can help set up an ambush, but stealth can fail in even the most meticulously planned strike from the shadows. Oh, shit, Joel. The infected overwhelm you, maybe even killing you in a single lunge. Still, human dirtbags are just as malevolent, firing bullets from behind cover or swinging baseball bats from the periphery. No matter what situation you're in, the sense of danger never eases up. There's a constant tug of war between vigilance and recklessness, with no single strategy offering true salvation as both your options and opponents evolve. <laughs> Stalking through the hollow shell of burnt-out civilization necessitates exploration and tactical choices. There are no timeouts, forcing you to craft items or heal yourself in the thick of battle, leaving you vulnerable while adding to the immediacy and conjunction of setting and systems. Overpowering your aggressors with molotovs, nail bombs, and shivs driven into jugulars reveal Joel's quotidian inner Batman, but going all out could leave your inventory depleted for the next encounter. The game's ecosystem is a constant, narrow vibrato between empowerment and disadvantage. As familiar dangers are woven into new arrangements, your choices in improving your equipment and skill let Joel maintain a slight but ever-increasing edge. <laughs> It's exhilarating and absorbing, but mechanical imperfections reveal themselves when the game can't keep up when the actors on stage seem to lose their direction. Bare-knuckle fist fights feel increasingly unnatural if a fight against a horde runs too long, and despite so many nods to realism and verisimilitude, you'll find that fallen foes are hesitant to part with their most useful belongings. At over 15 hours and with a new game plus, we recommend The Last of Us with the highest accolades, not as a trailblazer, but as a game that treats its story and your actions with seriousness. It achieves meaning without unspooling the tension and excitement of fighting for your life, for Ellie's life, for us. I was never a big fan of these things.